my name is Kyle Lyon. I'm a pre-sales engineer here at Solutions PT. And today we're going to be going over what is Historian Client. So Historian Client is a range of tools that are available uh, and then they come as part of your Aviva Historian. And what they allow you to do is to pull out, manipulate and display data from that Historian in a variety of ways to suit you know, your context, your users, who's going to be looking at it and what they want to achieve with it. So it's made up of a few different components. I'll go over a few of them now. This first one is the historian client trend. And it does exactly what you what it says on the tin. You can go in here and you can create trend files, much like the ones that you may see in your SCADA. And you, if in fact, many of you may already be using this inside of your InTouch applications, uh, but just don't know that you've got it as a standalone application as well. So what I can do here is I can add some tags. You can see that we've got an highlighted regions on both of these. This is because obviously it's pulling data from the historian and historian pulls in alarm data as well. So this is a halo indicating that these tags are in alarm. Now there's a whole range of tools available to make this a lot more readable, to add more tags, various things, offsets, uh, a lot of things like that. But I won't go over all of them for now. But what you can see here is that I was able to scale the axes to these tags. So they, they, you know, they're all contained within the same trend file and they're all visible on screen. I can do things like I can enable live data so we can see this trend file updating in real time. I can pause it, I can refresh, I can change the duration that is captured in here and a variety of things like that. And you can see, obviously we've got our tags at the bottom here and I can add in as many tags onto this as I want until it, well, until readability becomes the, the, the main limiter. The second tool is Historian Client Query. And what you can do with this is you can create SQL queries without needing to uh, absolutely have you know, SQL, uh, prior SQL knowledge. So it, what this is, is it, it's a tick box, uh, drag down, calendar options, very uh, tweakable. Uh, and it allows you to build those queries up without actually having to do, do the, the language itself. So if I go into an example here and I do history values, we can see that I've got a range of columns that are available here. We've dragged in a tag by default. And I've got a number of tick boxes available to me for the columns that I want to include in this query that I want to be returned. I've got things like time. So what's the duration that I want this query to cover? What kind of format do I want the returned table to be in? Any criteria that I want to use to filter out extraneous parts of data if I'm only looking for when a value is within a certain range over a certain time period. What type of retrieval I want to use, whether I want to use cyclic, so that's you know X amount of values every 300 minutes or so. Um, delta, so that's on change of the value and a, and a variety of other ones here. What source I want to use. So in general, we're going to be using the extension tables that are created as part of the historian, but I can also add in some manual ones as well by selecting the both option. And then I can select what order I want these columns to be in as well. Finally, we've got the historian client web. So what this is, is it's a web based tool that allows you to go in and create pieces of content, so trends, status boards, things like that, um, and have those available on a web page for users to access. You can embed these into things like intranet pages, uh, various things like that. Obviously, as every piece of content is defined here, you can draw these pieces of content into dashboards and have them visible, much like you may have seen inside Aviva Insight. Then there is another tool that I'm not going to show here, which is the uh, Excel plugin. But essentially what that is, is it's a, it's a nice little tab that comes within your uh, Microsoft Excel, and it allows you to pull in data from your historian, perform aggregation, use either the, the inbuilt Excel functions or some extra functions that come as part of the package, various things like that to do things like create tables, create uh, Excel based reports, uh, there's a whole host of things, and there's, there's quite a lot of resources available to show you that online. So those are the main tools that are available inside the historian client. 
Again, these come as part of your historian. So if you've got a historian and you're not already using these tools, you have at least one seat available to you. So you can go and start using them to generate some nice information, some nice reports, some nice tables, visualize that data that you're capturing from your process. Thank you for watching.